To begin our first session, I'd like to share some remarks from Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak. Governor Steve Sisolak, after graduating from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, attended and received a master's degree in 1978 from UNLV's Graduate Studies Program. After putting down roots in Las Vegas, he built his own communications business, all while raising his two daughters on his own as a single father. Both his daughters attended Nevada's public high schools and UNLV, where Ashley earned her law degree and Carly earned her master's degree. Motivated, motivated by his passion for education, Governor Sisolak decided to give back to the community that supported him by serving on the Nevada Board of Regents for 10 years. As a champion for parents and students, he stood up for Nevadans wrongly charged out-of-state tuition and fought for increased state funding. Education remains a top priority of his as governor. In 2008, after 10 years as a university regent, he decided he was elected to the Clark County Commission, where he served as chairman until being sworn in as governor of Nevada. He successfully managed the state's largest county budget and led the county through the Great Recession. As governor, Steve Sisolak is working to strengthen Nevada's statewide economy by diversifying our industries and working to attract new fields and recruit job creating companies to the Silver State. Governor Sisolak is proud to be able to call Nevada home and is honored to serve our families as governor. Throughout this time in office, his goal is to keep Nevada strong and moving forward by investing in education, creating jobs by diversifying the economy and guaranteeing quality, affordable health care for all Nevadans. It's my pleasure to welcome to the Nevada Summit on Education, Governor Steve Sisolak. Good morning. Thank you for the kind introduction, Dean Hayes, and thank you to the College of Education for inviting me to this summit. As many of you are aware, I have long been motivated by improving education for our students, and I served on the Nevada Board of Regents for 10 years before running for county commissioner and eventually becoming governor of this great state. Education remains a top priority for me, and I appreciate the ongoing work of this summit, now in its sixth year, for helping to advance the knowledge, discussion, and action around education in the Silver State. I'm so proud of the ongoing work in education in our state, spearheaded by State Superintendent Joan Ebert and our incredible team of district superintendents across the state. We have a fresh crop of new leaders within ENCHI, including Chancellor Melody Rose and Dr. Keith Whitfield, the new president of UNLV, and former Governor Brian Sandoval, now at the helm of UNR. I cannot think of a better slate of leaders to help shape the future of education in our state. The ongoing pandemic has caused disruption in all our daily lives, especially the delivery of education to our students. The pandemic has starkly shown us many things educators always knew to be true, that it takes a village to raise a child, and our education system and every educator is a critical part of that village. Our schools are placing learning and the love of learning where students can grow and develop. It's where they gain the knowledge necessary to blossom, but we all know the services you provide go on beyond the academic experience. Beyond the classroom, schools are the place where far too many children in Nevada may receive their only meal. And it's also the place they can access critical behavioral health services and other social supports. And none of this is possible without you. Under our amazing educators, our kids can innovate, dream, and thrive. As I have said many times in the past few months, I look forward to safely and responsibly bringing more students back into the classroom. But in order to do so, our students and educators need every Nevadan in every community to collectively step up for them at this moment. I am so glad to be speaking to a group that uniquely understands this issue. This has been difficult and will continue to be difficult going forward, but I'm always heartened to hear about the work our educators are doing to ensure service to our students and innovate in the face of historic obstacles. Shortly, you'll be hearing from Dr. Carlene McCormick Lee, who I named to chair an 11-member commission on school funding back in August 2019. While only 13 months ago, I'm sure August 2019 feels like a lifetime ago. 
Dr. McCormick Lee is helping to guide the process of developing Nevada's first new school funding formula since 1967. I will not use my time today to steal any thunder from her upcoming presentation. I will say I'm confident her experience and commitment to improving our statewide school system and the outcomes for students across Nevada in collaboration with the Department of Education will help pave a new way forward for our state. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak briefly today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the summit and I look forward to future collaborations to help all of our students succeed. Thank you.